Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to create a fake semester. Now the reason you wanna create this fake semester is because when I finished college, I went into the workforce, right? The field is what they call it. And I got pretty bored early on and I started realizing I need to like actually learn things again. And I didn't wanna be that person who goes into the field, you know, does their desk job and then never really learns anything again other than like how to fill in a spreadsheet. So that is why I'm focusing on how to create this fake semester so I can kind of boost my learning again and kind of find that curiosity that I sparked in college. So let's go over four ways that you can put together this fake semester. So there are four steps to create your personalized fake semester. I'm gonna focus on my YouTube semester. So the first step is to create a class. Now this class can be really anything. What I did for my YouTube semesters, I just went, kind of went online, figured out what classes are out there for YouTubers. So I am taking Ali Abdal's part-time YouTuber Academy. So now that you picked your class, you're gonna move on to your goals. Now my first goal is to one, finish the class, which is kind of important because it's the semester of taking the class. And then my second goal was to figure out how to do these like pop-ups, which you have seen in this video, which I really wanted to learn how to do. And that's why I'm using this semester to do it. So that is my second goal. And then my third goal is to post one video a week on my YouTube channel. The next step is to put together a reading list. So you can't really have a semester without some books. So I picked two books. The first one I picked is data science because I want my YouTube channel to be kind of more about data science since that is the role that I'm going into in my new job. And then the next book I picked was The Common Path to Uncommon Success. It is about entrepreneurship. So I figured that kind of mixes good with the YouTube vibe. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be about your specific class, but semi-related, kind of loosely related. Don't worry too much about this. Don't pick too many books. I definitely picked way too many books and the first time I did my fake semester. <laughs> the fourth and final step is to actually day by day plan out your weekly schedule for your class. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross little X's on those icons. So try to keep it simple. So I just put YouTube logos and basically any, any time that I use YouTube or making a script or editing or whatever, any sort of thing counts for that day, you know, don't overcomplicate it. And that is kind of my weekly plan. And then I planned out six weeks because that's how long the class is. Now you can make your semester as long or short as you want. I've done a 11 weeks uh, semester and this will be a six week. So don't feel like you're constrained to a certain timeline. Now to give an example of what a completed semester looks like, you can see that here. I did a semester on React, which is like web development. So this is another idea if you wanna do something more technical than just like a YouTube semester. So this is was a React framework. So I chose She Codes React as my um, class. And then I chose a couple goals, um, didn't really overdo it. And then I read way too many books. So I don't recommend doing six, but I still got it done. And this is kind of what the completed class looks like. To summarize, you first want to focus on the class that you want to incorporate into your semester. Two, pick a couple of easy goals. Three, pick a couple of books to incorporate in your class as well. And then four, create a weekly schedule that is attainable for yourself. So those are four steps to create your perfect fake semester. Comment below what you guys are gonna be working on. And if you wanna see more details on my React semester, which is my web development semester, click here and I will see you guys next time.